Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Blake Lively is trapped by a shark just a few hundred feet from shore in The Shadows, a very simple survival tale that could have been great if it had just stayed simple. In its current form, it is still a frequently gripping, if overly stylized, thrill ride that certainly delivers, even if it panders more than it needed to. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. I'm gonna just get this out of the way, okay? I personally think that Blake Lively is one of the hottest actresses in film today. And I don't mean hot like she's a rising star. I mean it like it sounds. To me, just about everything about her physically, the hair, the eyes, the voice, the body, the whole package just... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I can feel some of you pulling away. Just stay with me. Why am I starting my review of The Shadows by going off on a hormonal tangent? Well, I'm setting up my extreme admiration for Blake Lively's beauty so I can tell you this and have it mean something. Even I, with all my predispositions, even I felt a little pervy during some stretches of this movie. If you love Blake Lively's body, believe me, you will get an eyeful during this movie because it is on display for the entire time in extreme close-up from her head to her toes. And especially her toes, don't ask me why. And while a little bit of this goes a long way, we get a whole lot of it through the entire film. Now, that clickety-clackety sound you hear is every young teenage boy in your immediate vicinity frantically starting to order their tickets on Fandango, which they can because The Shadows is rated PG-13, another odd choice that seems designed to appeal to the masses when the masses that go to movies about shark attacks tend to want less restraint in their horror movie bloodletting. Another odd pandering choice is the use of slow motion, particularly in the film's setup, both to ogle the lovely lively and to admire the beauty of the movie's setting, a remote secret beach in Mexico. This is a beautifully shot movie, and the introductory passages make it feel like a surfing video on MTV rather than a horror movie. This becomes even weirder when she FaceTimes with her family while on the beach just to get the backstory inserted right into the plot. And to be honest, that backstory could have been completely cut and you'd have a better movie. Or it could have been inserted through some other means. It just feels like too much clutter and it doesn't match tonally with the rest of the movie, which is really akin to something like 127 Hours or Gravity or Open Water. I really get the feeling that at 87 minutes this extra stuff was added just to sort of pad the running time and the movie might have been better off if it had been delivered lean and mean. The simplicity of the story is really the main appeal of the story. It's what got me excited about seeing the movie once the first trailer dropped and before the second trailer gave us a look at a rather cheesy looking CG shark. The central conflict is so basic you could sum it up in a single image. One poor girl has to get to shore and there's a huge shark in the way and for long stretches of the movie when it's purely a survival story, it's riveting stuff. You see, Lively, thinking on her feet. Yes, she talks to herself in a very unnatural way, just so that we, the audience, can tell what she's thinking. And I wonder if a better director would have been able to just communicate her thoughts visually instead. She keeps testing her boundaries, using every tool she has at her disposal to survive and evade the shark. I was also pleasantly surprised to see that the fake-looking CGI shark was actually pretty well rendered and mostly well hidden, just like the shark in Jaws was. I was mildly irritated by a lot of the extra stuff that was crammed in, like graphics that explain how many hours till high tide, or another dangerous animal that comes in for a cameo, which I won't spoil, just to raise the stakes and make things even harder for the lively character. But for the most part, I was still good with all that stuff. Maybe feeling a little patronized by the spoon feeding of information going on, but otherwise enthralled. Every time she has to so much as dip a toe in the water, there's her toes again, your pulse will start to race. And then that ending. Whew, boy. Uh, in the big climax, we see a lot more of that CG shark and the illusion dissipates. Lively makes a last dash for survival that, honestly, in addition to the shark behaving and moving in an unrealistic way, all of a sudden Blake Lively's character is doing things that, I don't know, I have a hard time believing that she could have planned it to work out just that way. There's honestly no way that she could have known that that would work. And in this sequence, what had been taut and raw tension becomes just a little silly. No less exciting, no less rewarding, but definitely less interesting and more dumbed down than I was hoping for. I award The Shadows a medium bag of popcorn. If you can ignore the cheapness of some of the storytelling, or let's be honest, maybe you'll revel in it. This movie delivers plenty of thrills, provided you don't think about how blatantly you are being manipulated. Could it have been better if it was shorter, bloodier, and a little less patronizing? Sure, but to get out of the blistering heat for an hour and a half, you could certainly do a lot worse than watching Blake Lively swimming and surfing and fighting sharks. And did I mention that she's really, really hot? I feel like I should reiterate that, because this movie certainly does, over and over and... You know what? I... Yeah, yes, I hear it now, and I'm gonna stop complaining. You get the idea. 
That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop, and click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, while you're there, click subscribe so you can keep up with all the latest videos, and so we can keep doing what we do. Please leave your comments below, and click the thumbs up if you like what you heard. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and we're gonna need a bigger movie. <laughs>